Hi everyone, and welcome to this tutorial byte for Oxygen Not Included, which is about the priority system. Starting with how this system works, every task in a game has a priority assigned to it, and dupes will use this to choose what to do. There are two types of priority, which are referred to as the dupe priority, found at the top of the screen or on the L key, and the task priority, which can be found at the bottom of the screen or on the P key. The dupe priority has five settings, these being very high, high, standard, low, and very low. You can also disallow dupes from doing any types of task. Dupe priorities are given a 10 times weighting, so take precedent over task priorities. Very low is given as plus 10, low is plus 20, and so on. Task priorities have a unit weighting that go from 1 to 9. These two priorities are then added together to give the final priority number, which is ultimately what the dupes use. This table shows how adding the two priorities work and clearly shows the importance of the dupe priority settings. You can pause the video to take a closer look. With this understanding, I'll talk through some tips in how to apply this in games. Firstly, you can left click to increase the priority and right click to decrease it. Duplicants printed from the printing pod will take priorities in the new duplicate row and you can change every dupe's priority using the top row here. With dupe priorities, Beware being too prescriptive, as these priorities will override the task priorities, which can make them ineffective. This can lead to dupes neglecting important tasks, such as life support, so I would recommend not using the dupe priorities a lot until we can cover all of the categories, or have some general purpose dupes without set dupe priorities. An exception to this would be the early prioritisation of researching and building and digging. You might also consider cooking and ranching. Personally, I put attacking on a very high priority, to ensure dupes aren't alone when in combat, which can be dangerous when fighting hatches or poker shells. Decorating should not be allowed for dupes without the masterwork skill, as the artworks they make are strictly inferior and cannot be changed once created. It's better to let the master artist do all the decorating tasks, as they will produce the highest decor bonus. Hidden away in the top right hand corner of this screen is a small menu icon which gives you the option to enable proximity priorities, which means dupes will slightly increase their priority for nearby tasks. This is extremely useful around the mid-game, as it reduces time spent commuting, and I recommend you enable this as your colony spreads out across the map. You can also reset all shoot priorities here. For task priorities, the range is between 1 and 9, and the default value is 5. In this part of the tutorial, I'm going to share with you a useful way to set these up. Obviously, I cannot prescribe what you should set all of the tasks in your colony to, but if you follow this set of guidelines, I'm confident that your colony will be correctly prioritised. I should also point out that there may be other ways to do this, and this is simply my recommendation from my own experience. As 5 is the default, I don't break down the priorities between 1 and 4, but would essentially consider them as one group. I use these for tasks which should only be done if there's nothing else to do. For 5 itself, I use this as the default in the literal sense also. By that I mean that all tasks will be left at 5 unless there's a reason to use another value. I use 6 as a slightly higher priority 5, meaning I consider 6s in the same group as the default task, but with a slight preference for your dupes to start first. 7 is for important tasks that are required for the basic function of the colony, such as cleaning out houses, storing food, or researching. 8 is used for colony critical tasks and life support, for example supplying oxygen diffusers, as well as supplying and harvesting your food plants. Finally, 9 is the highest regular priority, and is reserved for tasks that need to be done immediately as soon as they become available. Typically, this can be things like repairing atmo suits, or using critter drop-offs. There are two further options for emergency situations, which are the top priority or yellow alert, and the red alert. The yellow alert is found in the task priorities overlay, and is accessed on the zero key. Using this will override all other priorities, and dupes will ignore downtime, but not bedtime, to do the task. If you set up your normal dupe priorities correctly, this should only be needed very rarely. The red alert is found in the top left of the screen, and should only be used in emergency situations, and as a last resort to get tasks done. Duplicants will ignore all basic needs, including sleep, which can have serious consequences if left for too long. This alert also causes large amounts of stress for the dupes. Most commonly, this is used to wake up dupes to save themselves or others, particularly if suffocating. That wraps up this overview of the priority system in Oxygen Not Included. I hope this was informative, and thanks for watching.